All right, guys, welcome to another episode. Today we are fishing a lowland ditch. It's real narrow up through here, and then all of a sudden it comes down this big old rapid with rocks dumped in it. Leads to a big scour hole. And it's about 15 foot deep out there, according to my calculations, 12 to 15, right out there in front of us. We're gonna try to get some flathead, channels, and buffalo. See what happens. Never know. I've seen some fish jump, so there is something in here. All right, stay tuned. I'll turn back on once I get set the hook on something. All right, guys, got the first fish of the day, and it's a blue cat. So we know there's blues in here, too. Wow. Sure is. That's not a channel. It's a blue cat. Hey, that's a good sign though that they're in here. So now we know it's got blues, flat channels, and flathead. Flannels. <laughs> Flannel shirt. Little blue cat, guys. Hey, it's we're on the board. That's all that matters. It was a success coming here then. And we just learned that blues are in here, which is even awesomer. This is the clo closest place we can go for blue cat then now. All right, guys, little blue. All right, guys, Wilma's on her first fish of the day. And I just had a bite a minute ago, so it's looking promising here. Catfish? Drum. The dreaded drum. Hey, at least you caught something. I'd like to get one of these buffaloes I keep seeing jump. At least you got something. Guys, Wilma's on another fish. She's out fishing me. If she lands this fish, she's beating me. All right, channel cat. Not a bad one. We're getting a variety, guys. Blue cat, drum, and channel. Almost looks like a bullhead, but it's a channel. He's just real pale. She's catching them over here in the calm water. I'm fishing the swift water, trying to get a flathead. Little channel cat, about a pound. We are getting them though. And it is the middle of the day. They're probably not biting real great right now. Not a horrible fish. One. My God, she is whipping me. I'm gonna set me a pole out in this calm water, I guess. Drum, but at least you're catching them. I'm going to put me one with a smaller weight just close to me, right here in between my other one. God, not a torque, not a terrible fish. I don't know why I'm not getting nothing. I'm using real heavy weights, but I have to because of the current. Probably why I'm missing the bites, though. Yeah. 
it's about a pound and a half. Hold it up a little bit, I guess. Not a bad fish. Alright guys, pound and a half drum. Not horrible. <laughs> Wilma is on fish number four to my one. All I've caught was an eight inch blue cat. She's got another fish. Oh my gosh. Another drum though. God. the hook. Uh, you're going to have to cut it. Guys, finally a fish worth mentioning anyway. I'm not going to complain. He's perfect heat size actually. Nice channel cat. About three pounds. I'm going to go ahead and get her back in. Hell of a fighter for that size. Guys, this fish just about pulled my pole in the water, ripped my rod holder out from underneath the rock and about went flying in and I grabbed it just in time. Oh, and I'm wrapped on my other line. Oh man, come here. He's wrapped on my other line. I can go around it. I think it's a car. Yep, car. Carp guys, not a bad one either. I get a good picture for How's it big, Gwen? About six pounds. Not bad. Bad carp, guys. I'm happy to get something that put up a heck of a fight. He crossed my other line. Pretty polar. He about pulled my pole in the water. Did you see that? Ripped it out of the rock and it almost went flying in. Showing it up good. I like the polar. Yeah. Yeah. Over there. On the top. Ended up being a beautiful place, guys. I think we're not here on the right day. I'm sure this would be a good place when they're really active. We know there's blues, channels. I've been told there's flathead. Drum, gar, carp, buffalo. There's a good variety of species. Pretty cool place. Hoping for an evening bite, but so far there's nothing except that. <laughs>